How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a good end of their year. Today I'm going to be delivering to you the Poseidon program. Uh, this is basically a program that is going to hopefully develop your body to look like the mellows of Poseidon, Poseidon of Mellows. So, I'm sorry if I butcher that, but I believe it's Poseidon of Mellows statue. It's uh, the Greek god Poseidon. I've been looking, taking a look at the statue and I've been thinking to myself, how can I make a program that's basically going to get whoever follows this program to kind of end up with the result of the Poseidon physique. And that is what I'm going to deliver to you today. So if you're excited about the video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, share, and also leave a comment down below if there's any other kind of Greek gods or any other programs you'd like to see me make. But without further ado, let's get right into the program. Sorry, I just had to grab my notebook here, wrote down what we're going to be doing today or what we're going to be covering today. The program is laid out as a push-pull legs program. Now, the leg day is kind of like a leg-shoulder hybrid. When I was taking a look at the Poseidon Mellows statue, there was I was looking at what things really stood out to me. And the things that I noticed that stood out to me were his shoulders, for one. Uh, the core is nice and tight. Um, everything is nice and tight on the body. It's not super, like, bulgy and, like, you know, kind of like the Farmer's Hercules abs, not like that, like those big blocky abs, but like it was just nice and tight and defined, but not like shredded by any means. It's not the most muscly, overpowering physique, the Poseidon of Melo's physique, but it's still a very, very nice physique um, and something to aspire towards too, of course. So. Um, as I said, push, pull, legs, uh, leg hybrid shoulder day. And basically the program goes push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, and then you rev that one rest day, um, the seventh day, and you just kind of repeat the cycle all over again. So starting off with the push day. The push day, uh, you're going to basically start with a dumbbell bench press. And you're going to be doing three sets of six to 12 reps. Um, all of the reps and sets are virtually the same for all of the workouts, except for a few of the arm workouts, which basically are a little different just because I believe your the smaller muscles like the arms and the calves, they can take a little bit more of the beating. Also, we are supersetting some of the workouts. Like for instance, this first one, I'd like you to superset it with your core. Uh, any kind of core workout. So three sets of six to 12 with a dumbbell bench press. So you're gonna be on the bench and you're gonna be pushing. And then as soon as you're done, you're gonna be super setting up a core. If you'd like to, you can even do leg, uh, like leg raises from the bench because you're gonna be on the bench anyways. So that would be perfect, you know, just three sets, just uh, follow it up right after that. And then after that workout, you're gonna be doing machine shoulder press. Um, three sets, six to 12 again and then after that we're going to be doing dips um, again this is your push focus workout so we're just really developing the chest the shoulders and the triceps uh, dips you're going to be doing three sets of eight to ten and then you're also going to superset this with calves uh, might as well just throw it in i thought i'd throw it in there because people always neglect it and it's kind of hard to neglect it if it's kind of a part of your program and you have to do it as supersets so yeah Supersets, supersets are key. Um, moving on, we're now going to be doing, you are now going to be doing the side lateral raises, the Egyptian style. So what that is, is basically you're going to go to a cable station and you're going to grab a handle and you're going to set it up and you're going to split your legs and you're going to grab the handle in between your legs and you're going to be doing the side lateral raises with the cables in between your legs. and. This is really good for developing the aesthetic part of your shoulder, that kind of like side cap. Uh, you're going to be doing 
that for three sets, six to 12 reps. And then you're just gonna be finishing off this push workout with some tricep extensions. So just grabbing, just grabbing the bar, pushing down, three sets out of six to 12, actually four sets. Uh, again, the smaller muscle groups, they can kind of handle that. So you might as well push it a bit, right? So four sets, six to 12. Now, moving on to the next day, which will be your pull day. Your pull day, your very first workout is gonna be pull-ups. Pull-ups, you're gonna be doing three sets of six to 12, and you're gonna superset any kind of core variation. I like to just say any core variation because a part of training that is fun and should be fun is experimenting. So figure things out uh, on your own and decide which one, which exercises feel best for yourself. Uh, moving on from the pull-ups, we'll be doing cable rows, three sets, six to 12. And then after that, we'll be doing the lat pull-downs, three sets, six to 12. Um, after this, we're gonna be doing T-bar rows. Now, T-bar rows, um, I want you to use the high grip. So there's the grip that's kind of like this, and then there's the grip that's like more high. We're trying to develop that upper back musculature. Kind of find that when you're looking at physiques and you're looking at something that looks impressive, the upper back is just one of those things that stands out, kind of stand it out on the Poseidon statue, for me at least. So the upper back, uh, high grip T-bar rows, three sets of six to 12. And then we're just gonna be finishing off this day with some preacher curls. Uh, four sets, six to 12. The only superset I believe on this day is gonna be the one you're doing with the pull-ups, with the core. So again, just feel free to have fun and pick a core workout that you enjoy. Uh, your last one is going to be your leg slash hybrid day. You'll notice that in all of these days that I've said so far, there's only five workouts per thing. Well, minus your supersets if you're not including them. I kind of just bunch it together. But again, it's not a super overpowering look, the Poseidon look, but still super tight, all the musculature, and it's still very, very aesthetic. So yeah. Okay, the last day, the leg slash shoulder day. The first workout you're gonna start off with is a barbell squat. Um, and this is also going to be supersetted with side lateral raises. Now I want you to do this in the machine, not with the cables this time. Um, and you're gonna be doing three sets, six to 12. Barbell squats with the side lateral raises. And then right after that, we're gonna be going on to the goblet squat. Goblet squat, just holding the weight in front of us right here. Um, we're doing three sets, six to 12. And then going on from there, we're doing glute bridges. Now, I have a glute bridge machine at my gym. Um, if you don't have something like that, you can obviously just use the bench and a barbell and set it all up for yourself. I just like the machine I have at my gym, so I use that. Uh, three sets, six to 12. And after that, we'll be doing hamstring curls and leg extensions. Now, you're gonna do the hamstring curls and leg extensions. Now, if you'd like, you can add in a third workout. You can superset the last two, those uh, hamstring curls and leg extensions. And you can also superset, add in and make it a giant set as natural hypertrophy talks about, where you have three workouts. Um, you're gonna do face pulls. So just targeting those rear delts. Again, the shoulders are one of the most pronounced things I've noticed on the beside the statue. So yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense if you're a swimmer, swimmers have nice ass shoulders. I just thought of that, you know? Um, also, I would recommend getting in some actual swimming uh, practice. If you can crush some of these workouts in in the morning time, you wanna really feel like Poseidon, really feel like the master of the sea, you know? Like, go out there and swim, man. That will keep you shredded and help with that really nice, tight appeal of the Poseidon physique. But, yeah. Uh, after that, you just kind of recycle it. Um, and you go back to the beginning. So again, it's just, you know, you have your push, your pull, your legs, your push, your pull, and your legs, and then you just have that rest day and you just start all over again. Um, making this program was a lot of fun for me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, 
leave a comment. Let me know what other types of physiques or Greek gods you'd like me to make programs based around. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.